Welcome, welcome to the Empower Pods, where women, money, and purpose all collide in an insanely powerful, sweet, and short punch of inspiration. I'm your host, Olivia Jarris. Ladies, ladies, welcome to the Empower Pods. I am so thrilled to be here and so excited to be recording our first pod. Now, first and foremost, you can probably hear background noise, and it's because I record these, for the most part, when I'm driving, because I don't know what's going on whenever I'm driving, like, from either from working out or from dropping my kids off. Like, that's when I get so freaking inspired that I just need to speak with you. And I just need to share the inspiration with you. So if you hear background noise, listen, I get it. I'm not recording in a formal studio or fancy location, but it is coming all out right now. And I can't ignore this inspiration. So enjoy the background humming of my car while we speak. Now, there's times where I get inspired while I'm outside in my garden, what have you, or whatever. Just know that this is not manicured. And I don't want it to be manicured, and neither do you. I don't want it to be pre-recorded in cut and like polished up. This is meant to be raw. It's meant to be genuine, and it's meant to inspire the heck out of you. So welcome. This is our first episode, and I am so thrilled. Now, let me explain to you just before we launch into what I really have pent up inside, and I really want to talk to you about today, and how I'm going to inspire you, but. The goal of these sessions is truly to just pump you up for the week. I'm not here to interview for hours and hours inspiring people, or there may be some of that, but odds are it's going to be very limited number of people that I'm interviewing, and or if I have someone who's very inspirational, I'm going to bring them to you, but the whole goal about this is to make sure that you get that jolt on a weekly basis of inspiration, that you get pumped up, reconnected with yourself, and reinvigorated to take charge, take back control, and really just reconnect with yourself so that not only you can be living, working, and functioning within your purpose, but also so that you can understand how freaking valuable you are. Really, I am here, like, my mission in life is to see women make more money. My goal with everything that I say and do to help you is really to get you reconnected with yourself, but primarily to show you how to make money with that. Because I know that when you put money in the hands of women, shit gets real. And we have an epic impact, not only in the lives of those who surround us, but in the lives of other people as well. So that is my goal with these Empower Pods. If you have a topic or something that you are like itching to hear about and that you need help with and inspiration with, please email us at ask at salarycoaching.com. We will look at it and we'll put it in the queue and we'll map out an episode around that. All right. So when, uh, yeah, when, when it comes down to today's topic, sorry, a deer crossed. And I I missed it, thankfully. Um, But I live here in the middle of the woods in New Hampshire, so I often spend a lot of time in the car. And this is when I get inspired. So I'll take that deer crossing as a sign of good luck. And let's go. Let's go with what we're talking about today. You see, today it's all about understanding that your dreams and that ambition of yours is actually closer than you think. And I'm going to share an example that literally just happened this week to me. I've always wanted to write a book that becomes a New York Times bestseller. And I've written three books, but I don't think any of them really, I mean, they've all been self-published. They've done really well. They've brought in money. I've created funnels with them. What have you? Like, they're doing great, but I know that they're not printed by a like a legitimate publishing house, which is usually a setback when it comes down to getting exposure and getting in front of like news stores and news fronts and what have you. But I've always known that I am going to publish a book with a big publishing house at some point or another. 
I've always known this. I didn't know. I didn't put it out there to say like, okay, by the time I'm 40, I'm going to publish this. Although I will admittedly say, and I remember this vividly, there was a, like we were in Key West when I was probably nine years old with my mom, my brother, my dad. Now my dad and my brother have since passed. Um, but we were with it. My mom thought it was just hysterical to go to this palm reader. And I did go to this palm reader with her. And the woman said, you're going to be an author. You're going to write like four or something books. And the fourth book is going to be the one that really starts your journey. And guess what, you guys? This week, I've written, I published three books. This week, crazy, crazy, I know. Forbes contacted me. They want to fly me to Forbes printing headquarters, like for their publishing headquarters, and they want to print print my next book, like legitimately print my <laughs> next book and get it in stores, get it in the airports, get it all over the place. Ladies, your dreams are closer than you think they are. I could have never predicted this was going to happen last week. But you know what? I've always been ready for it. I knew it was going to happen. And now that I haven't even written the book, I'm like, of course this was meant to happen. Of course. Like I knew. And I know that that might sound really cocky, but in the depths of your heart, you already know that you are cut out for something pretty freaking big. Listen, I don't even have a New York Times bestseller yet. Let's be very forthcoming. But I know that whatever I'm going to write next is going to make a huge, massive impact on this world. Like, I'm expecting success. And that's what I need you to understand. That's the first thing that we need to sort out in this Empower Pod. You need to start expecting success. Success comes to those who believe in it. If you don't focus yourself in that dream of yours and you don't feed it and fuel it, well then how the heck do you think it's going to be nurtured and it's going to happen? And that's exactly what we're talking about here today. So I don't want you to be too cut up whoops, on the how. And this is the thing. People who get caught up in the how forget the why. Forget to focus in on the yes, of course it's going to happen. So I don't want you to be focusing in on the, how am I going to get to become a New York Times bestseller? It doesn't matter. Don't focus on that. That is beyond your control. And the reason why it's beyond your control, you can think about it like spiritual terms and what have you, but really I want to bring it down to the more pragmatic concept, which is you don't have the steps. You don't have sufficient information yet to know exactly what step to take. Now, I firmly believe deep inside you already have everything you need in order to truly make your dream happen, to manifest and call it whatever you want to call it. But here's the truth. You can't see everything. Otherwise, there wouldn't, like, you can't see the entire road to get to your Mount Everest. Otherwise, there'd be no point in you being able to go from A to Z with no journey, <laughs> no effort. You wouldn't crave to go to Z if there wasn't actually a process to follow. If you didn't have to go from A to B to C to D, like, if there were no journey, A would be Z. So there'd be literally no point in your journey because A would be Z. Right? But there is a process. There is that discovery that unfolds that is so freaking beautiful, so painful at times between A and Z. And going from A to B might be fabulous. Going from B to C might be a nightmare. Going from C to D might be a total roller coaster ride. But what matters here, and this is what I need you to understand, is that. You know that you're going to Z. You know, you believe inside of you that you are going to Z. You know that Mount Everest is meant for you. But you need 
to not know the how. All you need to know is that that dream is alive and well inside of you. And stop looking externally for validation. Stop looking to confirm whether or not you are actually capable of achieving that dream from the vantage point of other people. Listen, this has happened to me time and time again. Whether it was when I clocked in at 216 pounds in the hospital with my second child, and I made the decision that not only was I going to slam out and run a half Ironman, but I went on to qualify for Team USA. I went from obese to qualifying for Team USA and qualifying for the World Championships. That's determination. That's me saying, you know what, fuck the rest of the world. I know what you're saying. I know that what I'm trying to achieve is hard to achieve and that most people are probably going to think that it's too much to put on myself, too much to think that I can achieve that. But guess what? They don't know you. It's it's, it's often like thinking. It's like listening when people tell you that you are too much. It's instead of questioning, you know what? Maybe they're right. Maybe I'm doing too much. Maybe I'm pulling in too many directions. It's you saying yes to everything that you are, and every. Dream that you have inside of you, saying yes to that, and then looking at that person and saying, look, you know, for some people, running a mile is impossible. Yet, for others, running marathons is a lifestyle. I understand that what I want in life, that I want, what I want to achieve in life, might be too much for a lot of, a lot of other people. But it's not too much for me. And this is where reminding yourself that you were endowed with your dreams for a reason. You have those big, hairy, ambitious dreams. You having those dreams was not a mistake. It's never been a mistake. It's a required pursuit of yours. And that's what I want you to understand throughout the series. It is not only acceptable that you have these big, audacious dreams, but it's also required that you pursue them. So I want you to understand that. And I need you to take this week and start thinking, start journaling about these big, hairy ambitions ambitious dreams that you probably don't dare share with the world. Believe me, I have been been there. Do you think the first time that I thought about writing a book, and kind of like, that's my book, Know Your Worth, Get Your Worth, printed on Amazon, it became an Amazon bestseller really quickly. I was like, holy crap, this is insane. English is my second language, ladies. I barely, barely skimmed through English in college. I don't know how to write, but I wrote it because I knew that I had to. I knew that it was my calling. Same with that, what I was telling you about qualifying for Team USA. People were like, oh, good. And like, they'd look me up and down at 216 pounds. Like, you're going to do a half Ironman? Good, good for you, good. And they look at you with like a little bit of a disdain and a little little bit of like, wow, holy shit. I don't think she can, but good on her, right? And the the people that closest to you, they'll be like, are you sure you want to do that? And they say this, it brings you down, but their, their goal, understand that it's like entirely, entirely coming from the right place. They just want to encourage you, but they don't know you well enough. Not your mother, not your partner, not your children. They don't know you well enough. Nobody knows you better than you. And nobody but you is capable to breathe life into your dreams. So I'm going to leave you with this. I want to give you an assignment, a bit of homework. What are those big, hairy, ambitious goals of yours? What are they? 
The kind that you are scared shitless to share with the world. That you're completely embarrassed to share with the world. And you don't have to share them with the world. Like, this is none of the world's business. But it is your business. It is your business to say yes to those dreams. And I want to ask you, what does it mean to you to say yes to yourself? And how does it feel when you say yes? Now, listen, we're totally new here with the Empower Pod. And I would love it if you enjoyed this this session, this episode, please go ahead and share it with your friends. Ask your friends and families, all of the ladies who you know, to please subscribe and follow us so that we can impact the lives of millions of women. Now, with that, go ahead, start thinking about those dreams, put them back on the front burner and put them in the front and center of your gaze because you're here for those dreams. And it's not only acceptable for you to pursue them, it's required. Today's episode was brought to you by Salary Coaching for Women, where you can access all the tools you need to get paid what you deserve. Why do you need to hop on over there right now? Well, because you know it and I know it. When women get hold of more money, we make the world a better place. So if you are a professional woman, a female entrepreneur, or anything in between, hop on over to www.salarycoaching.com and check out all of the resources they have for you ASAP.